Hello and welcome to On the Food Scene with Steve. I'm back here in New York City, the Javits Center, and I am at the Fancy Food Show. I'm just returning from a trip to Ann Arbor, Michigan, where I was at the Zingerman's Enterprises. And with me today is Ari, the co-founding partner of Zingerman's Community of Businesses. Very good. Thanks for meeting with me today. Hey, my pleasure. And we had a great time out there. Can you tell us a little about your business philosophy, which I think is probably the best philosophy I have ever heard about. Well, I'm honored. Uh, well, you know, we, what's the best way to explain our philosophy? We started in 1982, uh, it was just me and Paul and two employees. We both worked at restaurants. Uh, that's how we met. Uh, and, uh, you know, when we started, I mean, we just knew that we wanted to have a really special place. We wanted to create food. Uh, provide a really good service experience for people and a really good place for people to work and, and do something that was really rooted in the community uh, and that was not a replica of something else. We always put the original foods. And, uh, you know, with two employees, you just sort of do it. Sure. You know, today we have 500 employees and eight businesses and you know, we have a way to sit down and you've been through the whole yes, thing. Yes, so, the whole gamut. Uh, we do all regional American food restaurant, which is a roadhouse. We have a bakery. So Artisan breads, pastries, wholesalers all over the area. Candy company. And the creamery. The creamery, we make handmade cream cheese, which they probably used yes, to eat in the Boris Belt 100 years yes, ago, but did. nobody makes anymore. Uh, you know, we actually make really good handmade bagels, oil, uh, painted on boards like they used to uh, at the bake house. A little mail order, a little coffee roasting, and then uh, Zing Training, which you had mentioned. Which yes. Our, our, our training business. So, you know, it's, it's really just about trying to create. I guess I would call sustainable business. You know. And I love the philosophy that uh, you prepare the foods the way it was done traditionally, which means years back we didn't have all of those pesticides. Yeah. So uh, I just love that philosophy yeah. going back to the way food was made and perhaps should be made still. And congratulations on your company's Thanks. philosophy on that. And you're also here exhibiting at the show selling uh, yeah. a few of your products. What yeah. are they? Yep, we've got two things here uh, our candy manufacturing. So this is to your point, uh, the candy bars the way. You know, it would have been done 100 years ago before they had all the 19-syllable ingredients to stick <laughs> in there. Uh, so we've got our candy bars and then also our coffee cakes, which is, uh, we can make it at the, actually started at the deli when, 88, 87. Uh, started at the bakehouse when we started that in two. Uh, and we shipped those through our mail order and then wholesale lines. So they're actually the biggest selling mail order. And I remember getting one of those delicious coffee cakes with the Zing Train program. They included one of those yes, in that box. So I'm familiar with that. And uh, it's a wonderful place to be. If you're ever visiting out in Ann Arbor, Michigan, make sure you do stop over at Zingerman's. Uh, it is a, a food mecca if anybody's interested in food, quality food. Uh, it is uh, a great place. But I want to thank you for joining me here today at the Javits Center. Right. I know you've got a busy day ahead. My pleasure. And uh, from Javits Center in New York City, on the food scene with Steve, I'm Stephen Freeze with Ari.